The JE 2023 session two exam has been completed. That's for paper two, that is. The BR entrance exams have been completed. And that particular question paper we would be discussing in this particular live. Hello, everyone. This is Suraj. And with us, we have our academic head, Sachin Sir, who also has joined. Welcome, Sachin Sir. Hi. Uh, so, I hope I'm clearly audible. Yes, yes, you're clearly audible. Okay. Okay, so we would be discussing basically the second session JE paper to a question paper in this particular live. So if there are any questions or doubts or any comments that you want to talk about in that particular about that particular question paper, please do not hesitate to talk about that in the live chat box. So uh, we had asked some of our students how exactly the exam went. Most of them said that it was sort of medium or uh, let's say towards a little bit on the harder side. So we'll discuss each of the subjects that were being asked, each of the topics that were being asked one by one and see what exactly is everyone's response. So uh, most of them said that mathematics was um, a bit more harder than session one. I think Naja is somebody who has commented in the live chat box. Naja, we are already live, so I hope you are able to listen to us. So mathematics was a bit more harder compared to the previous uh, session one. Drawing, there was an issue of time crunch that a few of the students had faced. I hope most of you were able to at least attempt both the questions. Arc awareness was much easier compared to session one. I think uh, very specifically this year, both session one and session two, architecture awareness, the questions were a bit more easier. The new entrant, I would not say new, but in session one also it was there. Session one, it was actually a new entrant, was the arithmetic based questions. We would look at one by one, arc awareness and GK based questions. They were basically easier. Uh, straightforward type of questions are the kind of questions that uh, we usually get to see in architecture awareness. So who prepared the first layout of uh, Jim Shetpur or who's known as the father of modern concrete, who is the architect of a particular building. So these are all the kind of questions that, uh, you know, uh, we generally tend to see a lot, even not just in JE paper too, but also in uh, that also. So, uh, what was the inspiration of the Dome of Rashtrapati Bhavan, architect of TWR uh, Airport at New York, the Trade building, then match the pulling. Match the pulling and all is very typical, right? Then, uh, which of the pulling was not the design of Anthony Gaudi? So, very, very typical sort of questions is what we could see a lot in case of architecture awareness and GK. Uh, even the identification of monuments, you had to either identify the monuments by looking at the particular image or the buildings were given and you had to identify which was the state in which they were all located. So very, again, very typical, very expected sort of questions. Building materials questions were there. Uh, architectural terms were being asked or engineering terms, very basic terms were being asked or uh, questions on Pritzker price. So Pritzker price and all is very expected, regular type of questions, cavity wall, then identify which are the vertical elements out of a list of elements that were given. Again, those were also very typical sort of questions. The, the only one new entrant or something that stood different would be the Architects Act 1972-based question that was asked. Other than that, most of it in case of architecture awareness was sort of well expected. Uh, talking about schemes, so usually every year there will be one question on climate change and one question on the <clears throat> uh, full form of these uh, certain government schemes, especially central government schemes. So they have maintained that particular track record this time also. Uday and uh, the DISCOM Yojana, the Ayush scheme. So all these things they have asked. One question on very basic Indian geography also they asked. The largest river island is present in which Indian state? So these are the questions that they had asked from general knowledge. Color theory based questions are also very normal. So there were questions on primary colors and all. So that was mostly expected. Now talking about arithmetic, there were questions on finding out the remainder of certain, uh, certain expressions, certain numbers that were given or direction sense questions. These are the typical questions that we see from NATA, that is Northeast, Southwest type of questions. You're moving around uh, in a particular direction for this much kilometer, and you need to find where exactly we're standing with respect to your starting point and questions like that. So these are the kind of questions that were asked in arithmetic, followed by non-verbal reasoning. Probably the easiest topic in most of the JE papers, JE2 papers is non-verbal reasoning. Very expected, straightforward, uh, image-based questions. Different views would be given, top view or current view of certain 3D, 3D figures would be given, or surface counting questions were given. So things like that. Okay, I have a comment that has come from uh, 
Dhan Lakshmi, sir, please tell the answer. So we'll do another session or we'll do um, make out the PDF once the answer key and things like that are being released with an explanation of that. Okay. Because the questions are not accurate or exactly as it is, as it is we're not uh, dwelling much deeper into a question discussion. Okay. Now, so these were the kind of questions that were asked in non-verbal reasoning, arithmetic, arc awareness, GK, color theory. Yeah, uh, these are the type of questions. Now to talk about the drawing paper, the two drawing questions that were being asked, I would uh, like to invite our academic head, Sachin sir, also into this session. Hello, sir. Okay, so hi everyone. Hope I'm clearly audible. So, yeah. uh, hope uh, the JE paper two, the session two examination, well, went well for everyone. So that was the final examination of 2023 of the JE examinations, and. Uh, uh, previously, when we considered the previous drawing question papers, there were choices. They have given uh, some kind of choices of questions. The students, there would be in a particular section, there will be two questions. They can choose the questions. But this time, uh, the two questions of the drawing section were compulsory questions. Like there were no options. So uh, there is no choice. They have to do that particular two questions. There were no, no choice. That was a major change this year. In the January session, as uh, also uh, the kind of question asked were in that way. But the last year, last year it was not like that. There were options given, so that was a major change in the drawing section. So uh, usually the G examinations have a pattern. They generally follow uh, some certain patterns, some certain questions. So also there were some expectations. So 3D composition was uh, one among the topics. So this year there were questions from the 3D composition like light and shadow creating 3D compositions. So the question was take the common 3D shapes from spotting items and construct interesting image with any color of your choice, give the light and shadow. So that comes from the 3D composition section. So, uh, so another question was from the uh, rendering site. So, uh, we will move on to the next night. Okay. So one was from the rendering section. So uh, rendering was a one kind of question which has been introduced recently. They have, they will give a reference image. And with respect to that particular image, you have to uh, draw. So this time they have given a part of Kutub Minar or a certain kind of view of Kutub Minar. And uh, the student have to draw and give details. So that was a question. So I guess it was a combination of rendering and also perspective. So they need to construct the uh, whole image with proper details. So that was the questions. So a certain portion of the image in a certain view has been given as the question and they have to draw and give details. So that was the question. So that was the two compulsory questions in the drawing section. And there were two questions. There were no choices given. So that's the overall uh, view on the drawing section. So that's it. Okay, thank you, sir. So I guess that's it. We have um, discussed, uh, including the drawing questions. So basically, Dhanilakshmi, I think um, both the questions on drawings uh, have been made visible. Now we'll do a detailed session once uh, you know the question paper has been released along with the answer keys and things like that. So if there is anything that I have to take back from this particular JE, that would be uh, one the few questions that has come up, like for example, the act-based questions, the architecture act-based question that had actually come up arithmetic questions that have been introduced newly, even in session one, it was there. Then obviously the importance in drawing. So uh, I think that has huge amount of importance, especially towards the last one month, even the live session that we had done with one of our toppers who is currently at SPADL. She was also highlighting the importance of drawing. And interestingly, there were no questions on climatology. So I think these are mainly the things that we had to highlight about. If there is any, any additional points that you would like to highlight, sir, Anything for the future aspirants, such and such? So, I, uh, I think one uh, change which has been seen this year is the arithmetic aptitude. So, usually, uh, the arithmetic aptitude kind of questions uh, has not been asked in GE examinations, basically, architectural awareness and non verbal reasoning. But I think in the session one as well, uh, there were arithmetic questions. I think uh, most of the students have mentioned about the direction sense kind of questions. So, I think we have also be included that uh, point in the slide itself. So uh, the arithmetic topic has been introduced in the JE topic. So for the upcoming aspirants uh, in the aptitude section, definitely you have to look on that particular thing. And especially also another thing, important thing is the drawing, the mandatory question. There were no choices. So you have to prepare in that way too. Because if there nothing, if we have no choices, definitely we have to go for a particular questions. So they need to work in that way. 
So that's the main thing I would, would like to add on. Uh, just so that's it. Okay. So I think that's it. We have come up with a summary on these questions also. So if you're preparing for NAT and all, we have our new batches that are coming up for all three NATA exams, both online and offline batches are coming up. So if anyone is interested, you can contact us at the number that's been provided. Any further details you have, you want to know about JE or BR for BDES preparations, entrance exam preparations, please do not hesitate to contact us at this number. So thank you everyone for joining in. Until we see in the next session, thank you everyone.